Hey, it's back with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Friday. It is September 19th. This will be our chart lesson for today, and it's a really good trading day. It's been, it was all downhill till just after lunchtime, and um, it was fairly obvious when we had reversed and headed back. I don't have a trend line there. I was didn't. Um, let's just go ahead and put that one on there because I did mark a trade that. There's at least a temporary one right there, but there's probably, this looks more like a spike in channel type deal here. You can see that right there. And uh, it's a pretty good trading. This Really everything for the most part was downhill. It was, I played it as a range until we broke lower here. And then, but you can see from really the start of the day, um, it was downhill and definitely downhill from just after the open. Um, the EMA was real flat right across here, but it was starting to turn down just after the open and it just progressively got lower and lower. There's a two tiered range here. I had a, just a little bit higher earlier. I adjusted it some. I moved this down. I didn't adjust the angle of it, just moved it around a little bit uh, when we came up short here. And I think I originally had the midpoint a little higher, and I was thinking the lows were probably right across here. But um, as we begin to bounce right in here, you know, you had to assume something's wrong and something's going on, so you readjust your midline, and I think it's right along through there. Uh, but that's what I saw, and I believe this to be valid. You can see where we bounced right off the low side of it. And your clues that you may go lower are the fact that you were going through it right here. And uh, once you went through it again, at some point you would assume you'll come back and test it like right here and go to the other side. And that kind of reversed the market. And we've been going up ever since. So, um, But let's talk about the trades that I saw. Uh, several trades here. But early on you could really trade this both ways. Um, and you'll notice there are some trades both ways until we really started downhill again. And uh, but but when I came in, I was looking at this. It was just really flat across here. I was looking at this as most likely um, a trading range. However, you could find um, you could find you know really from right after the open, you could find this first trend line really before that because you could have drawn it. I originally drew it off those lows right there. Um, but as the day went on, I adjusted it. But I originally drew it off those lows and just pulled it up. And that's right where we turned down just after the open around 830. And so no doubt that that was, that's valid. And um, nice looking channel here. Not too difficult to find or anything. Um, but let's talk about the trades. The first trade I saw, notice this is just a two-legged move down. It's a perfect measured move. One leg, a little correction, and then your next leg down. And it's you already had this little trading range, and a measured move was right where it bounced to. Uh, there's, I looked at it probably this being a bigger channel, but you definitely got this real tight when the break and a move to a new low. But I was trading this more of a range at that point. I did have this on here. Um, not sure if that's valid. You still got the break and a move to a new low and then a little bit of a correction, but, um, you know, who's to say it doesn't really matter. I'm going to remove it and just assume that we were in this trading range because that's the way I was trading it anyway. And that this was the little channel down the break, the new low. And then now we're heading and look how this thing's bouncing. And again, you got two legs down. So on a bigger picture, this is a second entry long. You got a nice bullish. Let me make it a little bigger. You got a nice bullish bar right, right there. Just go long right there. Uh, you, you know, we're probably headed back uh, to the upper side of to test these highs. And that's exactly where you head. And you get a little failed break higher here, and the bar goes out the top first, turns and goes down. Just go short right there. Quick, easy move. Pulls back, and then you get a second entry short right there. Um, normally, this might be green, but um, the reason I liked it was because that's the first break. That's a clear and obvious little channel working out. That's the first break, and there's enough room to get out before you get here. So I like that one. Uh, it's not a beautiful um, 
signal bar. It's not exactly um, uh, um, it's not a second entry. It's not exactly a, a really nice signal bar. So you might wait for it to break lower and then use a limit order. And you might just skip that trade. I went really back and forth about whether or not to make that one green. But I like it to the downside. And um, it is a little close to these. But look where this low. And this was the clue. Uh, I want to come back and talk about this one over here, too. The clue is look how when prices reverse, they went right through that. There's no... There's no uh, resistance off that EMA right there at all, really. It went right through it. It makes a lower low, then that swing low, that swing low, and that swing low. That's telling you the price is reversing. That's only one leg. So you're sure to get a, I shouldn't say you're sure, but you're very, you know, there's a very strong possibility you're going to get another leg down, and it may be a measured leg. But even if it only goes to the last low and bounces, there's enough room to get out. So I liked it for those reasons. So hopefully that's clear. But notice that's what a reversal pattern looks like. We were trading up and then prices suddenly. Generally, notice how you got a little resistance off the EMA both times there. And then look what happens here. It goes straight through. Look how you were getting resistance off the EMA as it was pulling back. And then when it got under, you were getting resistance from the underside. Just like right here, you're getting support off of it and then resistance off of it. And so that's telling you something when it goes right through with no resistance. Then it pulls back and gets some more resistance, and that's just a big move down. So when it comes back, you're probably going to get another leg down. And so, and that's, and somebody actually got trapped short right here. If you notice on my chart, there's a second entry short when this bar triggered, but look how bullish that bar is. You can't go short there. Uh, particularly when prices just had a failed break lower. And look, it's a reversal pattern. Look how it went right through the EMA, pulls back, kind of tests it, then goes higher. And you're right there going short into it when we just tested it and bounced. So that's what a reversal pattern looks like. So I like this to the upside uh, as a trap right here. Uh, I didn't like going long here because it's too close to here, but I liked going long right there um, because you're probably going to get another leg up. And you're probably coming back to test these highs. And if, indeed, there's a channel here, you're coming back to test that. And so I like that to the upside. But somebody sent me a thing, and they got trapped right here. But notice mine, the second entry triggered below that big bullish bar. That bar opened down here and closed on its very high. And it couldn't go higher, and it turned down, and it went out the other side. You can't go short below that. You might consider going short below this one, but notice it never triggered. Now, the guy sent me his chart. And it was like he didn't have this bar right here. or one. He only had one bar, and it went higher first, and then I think then went out the other side. So, you know, there was some – his is a little different than mine. Mine never triggered, but I don't – you wouldn't want to go short there after that big reversal-type pattern anyway. So make sure you understand. Study that pattern there. That's a reversal on the low side. That's a reversal off the high side. That's what they look like. When you don't get any resistance off that EMA and it goes right through, it's telling you something. Um, so keep that in mind. And then you could start to look how flat the EMA is, and you're thinking, hey, this is more like a range day anyway. So, um, But I hope that's clear. But I circled this one in green. You had your break of this little channel a couple of legs up. Uh, it's a failed break above that. Um, we already talked about that one. I did circle it green because it's the first entry, but... I liked it, and then your second entry there, and I, will, I, you know, like I said, I went back and forth about whether or not to make that one green, and then we break lower again, and I figured we'd come back down here and test this again, but we come up short, we pull back, we test that high again, uh, and then I was, I was looking for a short here, but that's not a very good one. Look at that little channel. There's no close. You finally get the close outside. You go back for the retest. It, it, and guess what? It finds resistance off the trend line. You definitely can find that trend line by now because you've got one. You got your first two swings, and you touched it there. You touched it here. But you can't go low. Look at all that. That really should be circled. Really should be circled in uh, the lavender because that's just congestion right there. And So you don't want to go, and it's bouncing off the EMA. It's closing above the EMA. It's bouncing off that midline of that little trading, uh, trading range there. So there's some reasons you got to be real careful about going short right there, or long. So you just wait, and guess what? It breaks out the top 
then comes down here, breaks out the bottom, it fails out the top, breaks out the bottom, fails, tries to go up, and then you get this little trap. Notice the new swing high, that's higher than that swing high. Pull back first entry, pull back second entry, and I guarantee you a lot of people got trapped long right there, and that reverses. I like going short out of that. And it's kind of a breakout pullback short, too, because everything was hung above the EMA and that midline, and then suddenly it's closing below. Um, and you're looking for prices to come down here, and that's where you get your first bounce, right? Right down here where you would expect, measured move, where it bounced once before. But guess what? It turns up and fails and goes right back down. Look how bearish that is. And that's the first break of that channel. And so then you got to realize that, hey, we're probably headed for this line right here, if you've got it and you're seeing it right. And that's exactly where it went. It bounces, tests it again, and then finally tries to go back to the upper side. Um, it was tempting to go short right here, but not a very good bar. And then it broke higher and went out the low side. Um, but i tell you why I didn't like that one, because you got that little double bottom there with all those matching lows. And so that's another little congestion type area. And you just don't want to go low, short at the very low of the day. And if you move this over, you would see that would be the low of the day. Um, it's really not the low of the day for the overnight. But since we've opened, that's the low of the day. And uh, so it's just a dangerous place to go short, uh, especially with all those overlapping bars. So I didn't like it. Uh, it went for one, two, three, it only went for about three ticks and then it corrects. But by being patient, guess what? You get another good setup and look at that thing go. And notice this, you're working up, you get the break, you get your move to a new high. You try to go short once, you got to go short again. And I was sitting there thinking, we may turn up and make another leg up and maybe get a trend line break, but you still couldn't go long because it's right into that trend line. It's a lot of congestion. So when you get that little bit, you can't hardly see it there. But notice how that bar, uh, that's a little, there's a new low right there. It's lower than that low. Pull back first entry, pull back. That's a second entry short. It is a little bit out of congestion. It's right off that trend line. If you drew that line right across those lows and drug it up, um, notice how those two closes. I like that one. And you figure it's shooting. You're coming down here to probably test these lows, uh, probably even these, but this thing just keeps going. And where does it bounce? It bounces right off that line like usual. So you got enough bounces on both sides to know that those two lines for sure are right. And uh, notice the new high here. You're coming down first entry long, pull back second entry long. It fails. I like going short right there. Um, it's a second entry. That's just like a little... Uh, two-legged pullback to the EMA and uh, it did make a little lower low there um, but you're looking for prices to come to the lower side and notice how we'd overshot it a couple of times I went back and forth about whether or not to make this one green just simply because that was the um, close from yesterday you can see that but there were some more important lows on down here uh, and it did. It took off pretty quick. And then you start your little correction. You got to close outside here and a couple legs up. And then it breaks higher and turns down again. Um, I like that one for a short. Pulls back here, turns down again. And you're looking for prices to try to work all the way down to this lower line. And then you get a failed second entry long, fails, turns back down, and where does it go to and bounce? Right there at the last low. Right there at the low, of the, it's a measured move from here to here to here to here. In other words, this upper part of the channel is a measured move to that bottom part. And so that's where you're looking for your target. And there's some other ways to get there too. Um, your first leg that's your first leg down so if you move down again you're looking for a next leg and look it's almost a perfect move it went one tick further and then you might have also looked at these other legs that's one leg another leg another leg but each one of those legs is getting a little bigger than the last one so generally uh, this is hard to explain but the fact that we moved into the lower part, what I would do is come back up here and measure this very first move 
in the upper part and then bring that down here and see if your last leg in the lower part is not a measured move. And you can see that we didn't quite, it was within a tick or two of being a measured move there. But the easiest way to do it would just be to say, hey, there's leg one and there's leg two. And it came within a tick. Because the more recent stuff is always going to be the more uh, accurate stuff. So that's what I saw today. It's Friday. Hope you had a good week. Hope you had a good day today. Uh, this was all downhill. Um, you could have made some mistakes today and still done okay. Um, as long as you stayed with the trend. That's what I always tell people. Uh, if you just follow some of the most basic rules of not counter trend trading, making sure you stay with the trend, only entering with a trend, and making sure you don't sell low or buy high, uh, then you can't hardly go wrong because the trend is down, so you're only selling, and you're never going to sell the lows, so you're only going to sell corrections. And look what happens. Every time this thing corrected, it went lower. And all you had to do is look for some kind of pattern. Use your short-term trend lines and wait on the break and the move, you know. And and there's some kind of pattern here almost every time. A double top. Um, you had congestion with a failed breakout. This is just a breakout pullback that comes back and tests this area right here. This was an important area. There's two or three things going on right in there. There's the high from uh, is that the high, high from yesterday. Um, the close from yesterday, and that's what these lines are. I just adjusted them. A little, that, I just adjusted that line a little bit right there to to where the closes were, and that's basically what that is. And you can see that was kind of the highs at one time yesterday as well. Um, but that's what the other little lines are alerting you of. And so if you just stayed with the pro, you know, with those three basic rules, I always tell people, if you can just follow those three basic rules, you automatically are going to do better than probably 80% of the traders, uh, retail traders, because they, you know, they love to wait until they see it get moving down like that. And then they try to get in or either that or they're moving down and they're looking for the bounce and they try trying to buy it and it goes just high enough to trap them and then turns down again. And that's pretty much what happened every time here. You found a little low. There was a correction, but it never was much of a correction. There's, you know, look at that little correction, then a big move. A little correction, big move. A little correction, bigger move. It's like that all the way down. And when it was up here, just follow the range rules. You know, draw your little short-term trend lines and stay with them. It makes it so much easier. So. Uh, and, you know, inevitably somebody will say, well, I was drawing my trend lines or I thought I was and I just didn't get them right. Well, that's just experience. Uh, this doesn't come easy. It doesn't come overnight. If you can't get your lines right, just keep drawing. You'll get there. It may take you a while, but you'll get there. So, uh, but anyway, it's Friday. I'm going to wrap it up. Call it a day. Hope you have a great weekend. We'll be back next week to do it all over again. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.